Good morning. Welcome back to another one of our boat videos. This morning we we're looking at a 2011 Sea Ray 280 Sundancer. Uh, the boat's really, really nice in my opinion, considering the age. Uh, got a black hull. Gel coat is really, really shiny. The bottom paint that's actually factory original. These uh, colored hull boats back in 11, they came standard with the bottom paint. So I believe you could opt out from the bottom paint, but this one appears to be the factory paint still and doesn't look like it's ever been even painted again. Let's go take a little bit closer. There are only a few minor imperfections on the hull sides that I, I have managed to see, so I'll show those. As you can see the shine is really really nice. Here, a tiny little scratch. And there's another one. Other than that, the port side, I don't really see anything wrong. This boat's equipped exceptionally well. We actually have a functional bow thruster that helps a lot with the docking, especially with the single engine. Also the white, it's really shiny. Looking at the bow, got a searchlight. We have uh, electric anchor windlass. We have the bimini tops on it. There's a full cockpit cover. This trailer, as you can see, it's oversized for the boat and it's not included or even available with the sail. It's one of our shop trailers. Even the horn is functional on this boat. Most of the time they seem to never work. Here's the starboard side. Same thing. Only minor signs of use, and it's also really, really shiny. And then coming to the stern, what might look like a regular Bravo 3 out, <coughs> outdrive is actually the uh, really expensive a rare C-Core option. So this boat has a 350 mag MPI C-Core engine package and the drive is even different than a regular Bravo 3. It's got a different coating on it for salt water use. There's one typical spot that I'll show you right there. That's usually the weak point of the Bravo drives. If you keep the boat in the water it corrodes this one it's like brand new because unlike the other ones the carrier on this one is stainless steel the normal Bravo it's only aluminum and it starts to pit looks like the drive was painted at some point with anti-fouling paint but it's pretty much worn off so whoever buys the boat if you decide to keep the boat in the water the drive does need to be painted and I would say probably the bottom too because it is the original paint from 2011. Uh, on the outside there's still a little bit of differences on the uh, transom housing. The uh, steering pin which usually is a weak point on these it's also stainless steel on the C-Core package. So you get a lot of extra salt water protection if you go with the C-Core package like the uh, original owner of this boat did. So usually it's not very advisable to keep a boat with outdrives in the water, but with the Seacore package it's actually doable with this boat. Engine is also completely closed cool, so I'll show that when uh, we go inside the boat. Okay, let's get the covers off and see how it looks inside. Okay, we are inside the uh, cockpit of our 280. There's a uh, fairly neat arrangements as far as what you can do with the seats. The seat and the aft actually we have it converted into a sunbed right now.
This is usually when you're anchored and just want to enjoy catch some sun. Helm seat is actually uh, you can rotate it. Right now it's facing the uh, rest of the cockpit. So it makes a nice area to sit. And here, this one is very easy. You lift it up, and just like that, you have storage, and it's converted into a regular seat again. Okay, and that's the uh, power-operated engine hatch. We have a separate wet bar with an electric grill. Kenyon. Actually, it looks like it's probably never even been used. This boat does have the generator option, so you can run the grill even when you're anchored. There's more storage underneath. There's a small window for the aft cabin. And as I mentioned, this is the helm seat, so it's also fairly easy to turn. There's a lever underneath. And there. Convert it back into a regular helm seat. Next I'll show you the dash. The boat did come from up north, so the dash is pretty much like brand new. No sun damage anywhere. Got your regular switches, fuel gauge, multi-gauge and the smart craft gauge. Let's see how many hours. I think this had only like 150 some hours okay 158 hours of runtime which is really nothing considering the boats uh, 2011 we did run the boat ourselves a few hours just to make sure everything is fine this uh, original Raymarine GPS that also works perfectly. Down here we have a VHF radio, steering wheel, and as I showed you outside, this boat even has a bow thruster, which obviously with the single engine boat does help a lot. Let's see, usually the horns never work on these. This one actually does. Trim tabs power hatch lift, we have uh, electric windless search light, a stereo remote, and here on the port side that's the entrance to the cabin. We'll look at that next but while we're still out here let's open up the engine hatch so you can see how, how that'll work. It's power operated, as I mentioned earlier. So fairly painless to get in there, do your regular uh, oil checkups and whatever else needs to be done. Okay, let's go take a closer look. Okay, the first thing you notice is the uh, 350 MPIC core engine. It's a heat exchanger up front. Most of the boats I've seen, these 280s listed right now, they all come with saltwater cooling. This one is an exception, it's got antifreeze in it. And being the C core version, even the exhaust manifolds where the catalyst is, even those are closed cooled. 
batteries are fairly new. We actually replaced a couple of them. It's kind of hard to see going upside down. There's the sea strainers and there's our uh, cooler generator. It's all really nice and clean in the engine room. And uh, you'll see once we get to the sea trial part how this boat runs. We did get over 30 knots with a little bit of a foul bottom on props, so I'd say the boat runs exactly as it should. Okay, let's go take a look at the cabin next and see how it looks inside. This is the entrance to the cabin. Let's go take a look. First on the left, on the port side, you have a small galley. The floor still have the uh, original carpet runners. Have the wood table. It also doubles as a base for the filler cushions, so you can convert, <coughs> sorry, convert the uh, forward seating area into a large bed. All the upholstery seems to be in great shape. Same with the hell headliner. I don't see any damage or leaks. There's the controls for the AC. Can't really run it right now because the boat's on the trailer, but we did test that too for several hours and it runs just as it should. Unlike the older Sun Dancers, this actually has a huge uh, glass hatch. The forward one, it opens so you can get in and out. And the bigger one, it's, it's fixed. And here's the shade that you can uh, close the whole thing, but I'll leave it open now so there's a little bit more light to see how everything looks. Again, there's the galley. We have the Kenyon alcohol stove, sink, refrigerator, there's a microwave, plenty of storage. Everything seems to work fine. We tested all the equipment and it's it's all running good. Refrigerator even has the original ice cube trays in plastic. Small window. More storage. It's the uh, C-Ray original uh, antenna cable for a dockside TV. Here we have our main electrical panel, the stereo, CD player, your 120 switches, outlets, microwave, water heater and AC, 12 volts. And there's the uh, generator start stop. We have 29.8 hours on the Jenny which also is extremely low and we did run the generator for several hours so that is also completely operational and here's a quick look at the aft cabin all the lights work not sure if anybody ever even slept in here there's some more filler cushions for the outside and filler pieces All nice and clean, 110 outlets, AC outlet. Here we have a flat screen TV. And then over here we have the head. There's the imitation teak floor. This boat has the vacuum flush head holding tank indicators, stainless steel sink and there's a window with the privacy frosting and obviously this also converts into a shower so you can rinse off the salt water after a day on the water alright that's the inside and uh, then let's go see the final part, the sea trial. We actually did the sea trial part a little bit earlier, but I usually leave it as last, so you can see the whole 
how the boat runs. All right, thanks. Let's go out. Okay, we're on the sea trail with our Sea Ray 280. As I mentioned earlier, the boat has only 156 hours of runtime since new, so that's very long. Every system, every system seems to work as it should. GPS, all the gauges work. So let's put it up on plane and see how it goes. Trial part. As you can see, the boat does run great. 